The video you are about to watch is graphic in nature. Due to the extreme gore of this video, viewer discretion is advised. Please click off now if you do not want to see blood. This video is produced for the education of hunters and people that are interested in how to clean elk. Alright guys, well what we're going to do, we're actually going to get this thing uh, gutted real quick. And I like to use just a box knife. Anytime that you're cutting on an animal, don't cut on top of the hair. Try to go from underneath it until you're into the skin. Okay. Then, when you, once you've made a small incision, put your hand in there, put the blade between your fingers, cut up just like that, so you don't hit that, so you don't hit the punch. Be very careful. What I'm gonna do with this one, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut through the hair real quick, just through the hair. I'm not going to go into the punch. Down about that far. Okay. And since we made a good shot, I know for a fact that there's no guts popped unless that back, that second shot actually went in quartered away. That may actually have some, some guts in it, but we're gonna try not to cut it ourselves right now. This is not the time to rush, guys. This is the time to take it nice and slow. And yes, that is a elk peepee. As my boys would say. Okay, right there's the... Now, I've already... I've already pulled the intestine out. I cut around the butthole, pulled the intestine out, pulled the poop out and tied a knot in the intestine so that I could back pull the poop through it just like that without getting poop everywhere. Okay, so now I found both of my arrows. So I know I don't have a broadhead or an arrow in here. So it is safe for me to put my hands up inside of him. Now what I'm doing, I close my box blade so that I can get in here gently and I'm cutting away the diaphragm from the gut sack. Look how big that gut sack is, boys. Boys and girls. Now, it's not all gonna come out until I cut through the esophagus of the animal all the way up to his throat. So I need some room to work. And since I'm mounting this one, it makes it even tougher to do this without messing up the hide. You have to separate all the attachment pieces down in there. And this is a bloody job, guys. That right there is nothing but coagulated blood. It means this animal died very quickly. We actually 
walked up on him as he took his last breath. So he was done within less than one minute. He was dead. Because I took a very good and perfect shot, he didn't actually even know what happened. When he, it hit him, he ran off and stopped and was like, what was that? But it had already went through him. The damage was already done. And this is why that you don't normally show, people don't normally show this part because it is not pretty. But if you want to watch it, we'll show you. I nicked that gut sack right there because I was trying to cut it away from the inside very gently without cutting the guts, opening the meat. Now, this, try not to, there's a bladder in there. You don't want to cut that open. Okay, so now I've got it removed. This is the main gut sack. This is all the guts from that elk. His is liver and these are all his guts. What we have left inside is the lungs and the heart. And the heart is what we want to eat. Mm. You feel the heart? Go in and Cut the heart out. And that, guys, is a very, very fresh elk heart. Is that a heart shot? It, uh, was. it was. That looks like it. Yeah, guys, that second shot, look here. You know, I don't have a knife, okay? I have that box blade. My fingers, I shot them right through the heart. Okay, there's my pinky. Right through the heart.
guys, we just made it to Big B Taxidermy over in uh, basically Fletcher, Elgin area in Oklahoma. If you guys were ever down this way, kill a deer, you might want to check them out. Big B Taxidermy. This is Brian. How you doing? And uh, we're dropping off, dropping off big boy here. So Brian just gave us our uh, the ivories out of our elk. I left everything in, but these are the ivories right there. Pure ivory. I did have to kill about a billion elk to uh, equal a, uh, an elephant tusk, huh? <laughs> I think you make jewelry out of them. Yeah? Yep. Well, Brian, how, how do we reach you for, with your uh, taxidermy business here in Oklahoma? Uh, it's 580-678-2031. Okay. My cell phone. And you guys are operating all year long, basically, oh, yeah. whatever comes in? Yep. Just give me a call, leave a message if I don't answer. I'm okay. either sleeping or working. So. What's your specialty? Deer and elk. Deer and elk? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, we're going to hopefully we'll see old boy back in a year. And uh, he'll be mounted up nice. And um, we'll show you guys. Well, it's the morning after. And we got, we got in bed late. We, wanted, we got all the meat nice and uh, cold in the coolers. And I'm pulling it out this morning. The sun has just barely come up. And we're trying to st use the RV shade to get all our meat cut up. And so what I have here is I have the tenderloin. And we're gonna be cooking this tenderloin tonight for dinner. So I'm just gonna go ahead and clean this thing up. I'm taking off this piece right here. We're gonna flip this over. And we're gonna take the, uh... now I've cut this loin real long. So this is actually the loin piece right here. But we're gonna go ahead and take out the silver skin and this is sinew, and what's cool about sinew is Indians used to use this to make uh, bow strings and everything. They would they would dry this out and then they would chew it up, and then they would use it to tie on arrows and everything. That's how strong this stuff is. Who likes a thick steak? You guys don't go down there and uh, hit the like button if you like thick steaks. Now, well guys, there's our steaks. Look at how big and beautiful those are. We're gonna uh, grill these up, but before, whatever, we're gonna separate some of these steaks for dinner tonight, and the rest of these steaks, we're gonna vacuum seal. The way that we vacuum seal these, we're gonna place them in our vacuum seal bags. And there's there's enough of us, so I, there's six of us, so a meal of six steaks will be perfect for us. Put them in here like this. We're gonna set this into the vacuum sealer. And then now we take the steak meat, put it in our vacuum sealer. Close the lid. Watch out the lid. And guys, that's how we vacuum seal them. Steaks are ready for the freezer. We've been working on our elk. We've been freezing it all. So we've got it all bagged up in our deep freeze here in the RV. We're gonna keep doing this. And hey guys, I got an idea for these steaks. I got a special guest. We're gonna go right to that. We'll see you guys at the barbecue.
Hey guys, our last step for our elk hunt, kill, clean, and cook. We've got our uh, our elk steaks that we did, and I've, I told you guys I'm gonna have a special guest. Well, guess who it is? <laughs> I got Houston. Yeah. Hello. I have infiltrated the Arms Family Homestead house. Yeah. We're actually we're Daniel, DJ, and Houston tonight, and. Uh, they were so gracious to let me come over, and we're actually going to be cooking at their house tonight, and we're going to be cooking elk steaks, having a good time. And so what we've got here, we've got our elk loin that you guys saw me clean up. I cut this giant steak off of one of the rumps, and then I've got this other steak. So we're going to get this seasoned up. We're going to use some Lowry's natural seasoning, some black pepper. We're going to throw it on the pellet smoker. I think uh, I boss. think they've got some the pit boss. Is that what you yeah. guys have? We have a pit boss too. I love it. And uh, I think we got a salad and some potatoes, and we're just gonna hang out and eat a little bit. So uh, let's get these on the smoker. Hey, look at over your shoulder. Got there. What is that? What? Muffins. Muffins. Whatever they're called. Banana. Did DJ Banana. bake these muffins? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My favorite thing. My favorite thing is dessert. Houston. Water. All right, you want to you want to crank that thing around on, over that stuff? There you go. You want a water bottle or you want a bottle? Oh, yeah, that looks good. Yes. I'll turn them over and crank them again. Hey, if you're a chef, you're always going to do it like this. Okay. Oh, that's how that one guy does it, right? Yeah. I saw him. <laughs> we don't have much pepper left. We have a whole nother deal. Oh, we do? Mm -hmm. We might need it. There you go. Have you ever eaten a, uh, elk, yeah. Houston? Do yeah. you like it? Yeah. I think you've only I got an elk once. over there. If you've ever had elk, comment down below that you've eaten elk and how have you had it? Have you put it on a pellet smoker or grilled it or what? Grilled it. You grilled yours? Yeah. All right. Well, all right, let's get out to the grill. Let's get them on the fire. Oh. Perfect. Hey, after you do this, you gotta try some of this stuff. Right? I'm gonna eat some once we get these on the grill. All right, guys, we got some uh, steaks coming out now. With wild game, you never want to cook this past about medium rare. So we got all these, basically just cooked them a few minutes on both sides, and that's about it. I mean, you just want them. The rarer, the better, really. Well, Daniel. <laughs> Your house, you want to bust the food? Sure. Yep. Everybody in? Everyone's here. Yeah. Everyone? Okay. Sorry. I feel weird with everyone not being here. Yeah, it is. I'm it is what it is. <laughs> Father, we come to you this evening. We just thank you for this opportunity to gather together, together as friends. We just thank you for this, for the opportunity that you, you brought us together and, and made a friendship from across the country, Lord. Um, we just ask that you uh, bless their travels as they travel back across the country and Maybe they'll have a little bit more luck on a hunting trip on the way home. I ask you for the blessed food and the best nourishment of our body. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Apparently, um, I didn't cook the steak well enough for Houston. <laughs> it's his. Yeah, it's mine. It's too bloody. Mm, it's too bloody. What, what do you got there, boys? Steak. Let's steak go. on a stick. Look, it's, steak, not, steak. it's not even bloody anymore. <laughs> Try Maddie. You don't like it bloody? No. <laughs> I hate blood. Don't eat it. hate blood. I hate the bloody. Well, boys got to learn how to barbecue somehow. 
I want to say a special thank you to Daniel, DJ, and Houston for having us over. Hope you guys enjoyed the elk hunt part two cleaning and cooking of wild elk. Team Tate Outdoors out.